So you saw on Friday Night SmackDown, which so we didn't talk about this. Uh, we didn't. We I mean, we never got a chance to talk about it. But why mm-hmm. do you think they're repackaging Lacey Evans again for like the third time? Right. I know they have like some kind of sponsorship with the military or whatever it is, but it seems like she comes back, she's she goes away for another three months, then she comes back different, and then she goes away again, then she comes back, and it's like, come on, man! Like, like she just came back what like three or four months ago? Yeah, but she and came. Then she, she went came back. back. Out. She came back with that yeah. military background or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I, mean, I think it's, I think they don't know what the hell to do with her at this point. I mean, and she's not bad. I mean, let's be honest here. She's better than a lot of the women that are that are currently on the roster. She's not that bad. But then again, I mean, if you keep on moving, if you keep on changing her gimmick all the time, you have no idea what to identify with her. Yeah. Even uh, I remember they had the Southern Bell thing that that seemed to work for a little bit, yeah. and then after that, it just kind of went away, and then. Then Where they we went to so the, from the Southern Bell. They went to the military thing, and then now they're back to still the military thing. But they're trying to make her. They're for some reason they're trying to make her a baby face. Even though she's not a baby face, like she's a certified, she's a natural hero. Yeah, she's, she's a, a natural hero. Yeah, yeah. So like, you know what I mean? Like I don't understand where this is coming from. Like why this is happening. Um, which is very confusing. Even Sergeant, what's his name? Um, Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah, he was even making fun of her. Not making fun of her, but he was like, "What the <laughs> fuck are they doing? Why are they doing this?" You know what I mean? So yeah, like, I mean, it, it's confusing because like she can definitely, she's good. On, she's pretty decent on the microphone. She's better than most. Yeah. And she's yeah. good in the ring. You know what yeah, I mean? Like better that. than most, uh, in the ring. So it's like. When are you going to pull the trigger on She has her? a good look. She doesn't look bad either, yeah. so, so at least that does help her out. Uh, old jokes aside, yeah, but, but, it, but, it, but it helps her out, too. Like It's not like she's like, oh, my God, like yeah. how are we going to put her on TV? She has yeah. a face for radio or something. But uh, so, uh, she, uh, so it actually helps. But I don't know where they're going with this. Like It just seems like they, they can never pick one road and let's go. Let's do this, yeah. at least for a good year. Yeah. Like They've changed their gimmick. I think she's wrestled... Probably since she came back from NXT, maybe, and that was like what, like four years that they called her up, four or five years. I think she may have wrestled two so. whole years at the most, and she's had like five gimmicks already. Yeah, because they got, like that makes no sense. They got rid of her. I mean, she she left. I don't know if she left because of. Wait, no, she left because she was pregnant. Yeah, which is fine. That's cool. But why did they have to change her gimmick again just because she was pregnant? Why did they have yeah. to do that? And then whenever they changed okay. her gimmick, she she they were trying to put her as a baby face. Yeah. With the uh in my family I was ready to stop to fight against bullies, which I'm cool with it, but and then she and comes back as a one. Yeah, she comes back <laughs> as a Bully. baby face. <laughs> quote unquote by yeah. WWE. And then she's actually a heel. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't think they back, can just... It was like what the f- what? what what happened to all the video packages yeah but you know you know what i think one of the biggest issues is as as always with wwe it just takes them so long to figure out what a what a wrestler's actual gimmick is or what their personality is it's like they've it's like stone cold has said it the rock has said it what do they do with them they just let them be themselves yep. just turned up to 11 right literally that quote exact quote so why don't they just let her be herself up to 11 that's what they should do with everybody yeah. it will be so much easier to write for them it'd be so much easier for them to make their character credible why do you have to it's like a it, perfect example roman reigns he should have been a heel ages ago look at look at the amazing things he's done as a heel he's getting a pop even as a heel yeah because you appreciate it yeah. at, at, at this point it's like i mean the guy's just good have you noticed all the so ones you to the sky problems. whenever he comes out Oh yeah, or the march. Well, forget about forget oh. about it, just him. Anybody from the from the bloodline, anybody from the bloodline, and obviously that stems that stems from from Roman. Yeah, that comes from Roman. So why why did it why does it take him so long with us the fans? And that's why that's why it pisses me off when uh, uh, like I remember a few months ago that we were talking about old timers. Oh yeah, because. Uh, yeah, because so-and-so was giving an opinion about something and they've, they've never been in the wrestling business. You know what? Fuck that. I don't care. 
We're fans. We pay for this shit. We're the ones that make them money, right? So it should be the 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 product should be not for them. It should be for us, yes. right? In the end of the that day, that's what that's why you make money. Yeah, right. It's like a movie. It's meant for the fans, not for the company that's making it. it regardless of what the company wants. See y'all. Yeah, yeah. Well, kind of like, kind of like, kind of like you guys paid to go to the live show the other day, and they they still stole your video, but that's cool. But uh, <laughs> he's not gonna let but, this uh, shit go. I will not let it go. It piss me off. Never. But oh, uh, but yeah, but, news. Oh, sorry. Exactly. But 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 you but but like I said, I mean, you paid a bunch of money. In fact, let's say you want to. In fact, let's be completely brutally honest here, uh, and and open and transparent. Like we were even looking at like Royal Rumble tickets, and it's like. Bro, 150 bucks to go see Roman Reigns look like a fucking Lego block like you were telling me the other day. <laughs> like, that's not cool. That's not cool. But we were we're willing to do stuff like that. Yeah. Be for these guys. I mean, hell, I remember when I went to Mania a few years back. I don't know how much money I spent. I literally have no idea. Because I went to fucking Mania. I went to the Hall of Fame. I went to Axis. I was like. I, I was like, let me do everything. That was at least it's a ten thousand dollar package, bro. No, it, it wasn't. No, 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 no. no. It, was, it wasn't ten grand. It wasn't ten grand, but probably a good four grand at, at he least. Had to put at that least. shit on the credit card, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> put that mug like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thought I was can a I, fucking. Can uh, I split uh, the payment? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's like your payment's coming. <laughs> Uh, not really. It's not coming. <laughs> Can I go a paying four? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, you can't. Fuck. Damn. All right, hey, no food for the next week. So. Okay. <laughs> I'm just watching. Yeah, I'm no. watching WrestleMania. More important. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I will tell you this. Uh, at least my personal experience, if you ever go to WrestleMania, get cheap seats for WrestleMania, but go to Access. Access is cool as shit. It's amazing. It's gonna be in Philly uh, in two years. I think we should do something. Not this. Philly. Not this year. No, next year. Then uh, yeah, because it's in Hollywood this year. But next year is yeah, in Philly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, next year. I think we should do something uh, sampler pod related for Philly. We'll just go out there. I mean, it's an hour and a half from me, so like it's not that far. Yeah, it's only like a you know four get hour a, get, plane ride for but me. But get ready, bro. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, but get ready, cause it's mm-hmm. in April. So I just think of cold or something. It may still. I was born be in cold. Chicago. Yeah, it's probably gonna still gonna be cold. It's outside. Yeah, it's probably yeah. gonna be in the Eagles. Uh, didn't they say it was uh the Eagles Stadium? Probably it has to be. There's no way they, yeah, they can't be in the, in the, in the Sixers. Yeah, yeah, it can't be in the Sixers people. arena. Yeah. If not, they're gonna charge like a thousand for nosebleed seats. <laughs> that point. <laughs> that it's the only way they'll make money. They wouldn't even. Yo, the the uh, entrance of Mania wouldn't even be, be big enough. No. To be inside. Absolutely. Not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, man, it's crazy. I mean, like I don't know. Like sometimes, uh, going back to the topic, uh, sometimes WWE it seems like they don't know what they're doing. They they don't know what to do with certain people. Mm-hmm. Um, a good example is definitely Bray Wyatt currently with this whole gimmick of the uh, the. I mean, he does this. He has the same gimmick every single time. Like Bray Wyatt cannot do anything else. It's all creepy and shit. All the time. everything is creepy. Everything, no matter what. Even whenever he was doing the kids thing, the Firefly fun, uh, fun House, it was creepy. It not seem like Chris Hansen wasn't going to show up at any minute. <laughs> Correct. So it's like, come on, man. So now you have Uncle Howdy coming out, and we're, we still... Looks don't... like ass, though. I hate that character. Sorry, bro. So bad. Uncle Howdy, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know where it's going. I'm pretty sure it's Bo Dallas. Some people are thinking that it's uh, Vincent from... Uh, is it ROH or TNA? Where, where? I think it's no. It's I think it's TNA uh, Impact. But who gives a sh- who is he? Who Ooh. gives a sh- It's not like oh, it's a exactly. fucking rock under a mask or Stone Cold or something. You have to bring if it's somebody like okay. So like if you're gonna do a big reveal, you have to bring back somebody that the wrestling world knew who the fuck it was. 
Yeah, and we're talking about casual fans, yeah. not uh, not people that not are like, oh my god, fans. yeah, because because uh, yeah, because in the independence, uh, he was an amazing wrestler, and uh, who gives a shit about that. Correct. Like, I mean, like for example, Ricochet is a great example. Yeah. You know what I mean? But anyway, so like not getting off topic, uh, they definitely have to bring back Bo Dallas. I'm pretty sure that's who's on underneath Uncle Howdy. Uh, yeah. But still, man, like so far, you don't even know what the fuck is going on. Apparently, Bray Wyatt got hurt a couple, like last week. He broke his finger or something? Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> dude. It's like the most random you, injury, too. They're fucking taking way finger. too long with him. Way yeah. too long. Like, I don't even know where they're going with it. Like, what what are we doing with this? It's almost turning into the, in a weird, in a weird way, it's turning into the SmackDown version of Dexter Loomis. That is which true. That's a good we don't know where we're going with this. It's and like, okay, we're doing a bunch of things, but it's yeah. not, there's no end game to it. And supposedly, some people believe that he's elevating LA Knight. I mean, he's a bigger name than LA Knight. Don't oh, get me wrong. Yes. But LA Knight in the ring. Does, it, and, does uh, LA Knight really need, really need that? If they give him the chance, no. Because he's a star. Like he should have been, he should have been in the main roster doing great things three years ago. Because he was ready made. He's, in fact, he shouldn't have even gone through NXT. His promos. Because he was that easy. Yeah. Which actually, I, I don't know if you knew, but apparently he was the rock in uh, 2K games. And in fact, in some cases that he was cutting promos, some people thought that he was the rock. Well, he even know. fooled himself. Uh, yeah, even he. There's a short. After, I'll send it to you uh, later on, which is crazy because he when you and and when you really listen to him, he does sound a lot like The Rock. Like if you just let him go, let him do his thing. I mean, he he, he he's amazing. Yeah. Because like I said I saw him on on TNA. Like I used to watch TNA for him, Drew McIntyre, and uh, Bobby Lashley. Oh yeah. It was. Whenever it was. was yeah, that time there was was pretty decent. Yeah. At that time, he was Drew. I don't know what the what the hell he was, but anyways, um, but that was actually a good time. Like he was very MJF like, I would say. Yeah. To a certain extent, and I can almost guarantee that he could cut a better promo than MJF. Not just cheap heat. Not just like, oh yeah, you guys. Oh yeah, in Cleveland. Oh yeah, you guys stink. Or whatever it is. That's you just guys cheap. Are a bunch of marks. Yeah, exactly. Which is the same old bullshit as always, you know. Not, not uh, which I'm, which I was glad that Ricky Starks called him out on it on that on that um, on that promo, which was almost like a shoot work promo. But he called him out. He's like, "Oh yeah, they're gonna come again, saying that these people suck or whatever it is, because you always do the same thing, and it's the same thing we've been saying for months already." Which yes, he's he's really good on the mic, but he's like a one trick pony almost, or he has to get that heat that way. Yeah. You know, he gets cheap heat all the time. He's but, turning um, into a Dominic. Know, I'm kidding. No, no, please don't, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do it. They're gonna strangle you with the with the Burberry uh, scarf. So, I mean, at this point, but that is true. <laughs>